Howdy YouTube, my name is Matt, and this is Tool Tech Tips, brought to you by Performance PCs. Today, we're going to be checking out rivets and riv nut guns. These are both handy for modifying an existing case, or maybe even doing a scratch build. Not to mention, these are useful in heaps of other situations that you might encounter in life. So let's just dive right in, see how these guys work. First things first, I need to show you guys how to remove a rivet from a case or a panel, whatever it may be. You're going to need a drill as well as an electric drill to do this. For case rivets, this one I would use about an eighth inch or 964 drill, anywhere in that size should work. The trick is not to just drill straight through the rivet, but to rock your drill tip back and forth or side to side, up and down every which way as you're drilling and this will help pop the rivet free and it's easy as that so you've got the leftover head of the rivet there there's a little bit on the back side left but pops right off and you've removed a rivet so let's assume you went ahead and removed all the rivets from here and you pulled the panel off did some modifications to it and now you want to get it back on well why not just use rivets again and you sure can. So all you're going to need is your regular old rivet gun and some rivets. For this one, I chose to use some quarter inch rivets that will be the length or the thickness of the material that you need to go through. For most case panels, a quarter inch to three eighths is all you're really ever going to need. However, you can get even longer lengths if you had thicker material. To start, you're just going to take your rivet, insert it into your rivet gun, like so, place it into the hole, make sure that the head of the rivet gun is very firmly seated and perpendicular to the surface that you're going to be riveting together. Finally, you're just going to want to squeeze the handles and this can take quite a bit of force to do. And voila, you've got one rivet reinstalled. Now let's say you just wanted to join two panels together. Like I said, maybe you've got a scratch build coming up and you've got multiple panels that you need to have fastened together. One great way to do that is just your plain old rivet. So being that these are both eighth inch thick sheets, I chose to use a three eighths inch rivet as you do want to have a, just enough material on the end of the rivet there for it to compress and then give you that nice tight seal. So we've got our three eighths rivet in the head of the gun. Now we're just going to take our two pieces of material, line up the hole. As I said, make sure that you hold the tip of the gun perpendicular and firmly against the material that you're going to be fastening together. And here we go. It's easy as that. So these two will pivot a little bit. However, as you can see, We've got plenty of material there. These guys are not gonna come apart. All right, folks, so here we have the rib nut. And this is very similar to a rivet in the sense that when this is fastened, the end is squished or compressed in order to keep it from backing out of the hole. Now, the difference is that there is a hole through the middle of these, and this is threaded. So this one is 8.30 seconds. However, you could get one that's metric or whatever size or thread that you need. The biggest benefit to these is that say you have a thinner panel like this eighth inch aluminum here, this one work that great to drill and tap as you really wouldn't get that many threads in such a thin panel. So that's where the rib nut comes in because as you can see, it is much thicker and provides much more threads so you can properly fasten something. The other benefit is that this will give you a threaded hole in which you can insert a fastener and then remove it instead of with a typical rivet, you'd have to drill it out in order to remove the second panel. To start installing your rib nut, you need to drill an appropriately sized hole for your rib nut to go in. Now you can just measure the diameter of your rib nut. However, your tool should come with a chart or you can look it up uh, that'll tell you the proper drill bit size for the hole. Now that our hole is properly drilled, we want to make sure that the correct 
rib nut head is installed. So this is going to be threaded for whatever your threaded insert is, obviously. Now you can uh, remove this and put on a different attachment for a different thread size if that's what you want to use. Now to start, what you're going to want to do is thread your rib nut on. Just like that. And then you're going to need to place it in the hole just like you would your rivet. Once you've got it in the hole, you want to make sure that you hold the tip of the gun perpendicular to the surface and tight against it as well, just like with the rivet. Once there, you just want to squeeze, and instead of waiting for it to break off like with the rivet, all you're going to do is put enough force on that to squish your riv nut just like that. Now, in order to get the riv nut gun out of your riv nut, what you're going to do is take the handle at the back and start unthreading it just like a screw. And voila, you've installed your first rib nut. As I mentioned earlier, this can be especially used for panels that you would want to be able to remove in the future because we can take our nice little fastener there, our Allen key, and voila, this panel is affixed to the other one. And then we can just simply remove the screw, and the panel comes out. There you have it folks, that should be everything you need to know about rivets and riv nuts. If there's anything I missed, or if you have any questions about what you just saw, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best as I can. And of course, you can find all of these tools here at performancepcs.com. Those will be linked in the description below. If y'all are getting a kick out of this series, give us a like. Thanks to all our subscribers, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Happy water cooling.